Hey everyone, it's Celeste, um, and welcome to my booktube channel. Um, I'm actually doing a less of a sit at the table and talk to the camera kind of vlog type thing that um, I've been doing in the past couple of videos, and today I charged my camera, huh, huh, yeah, and I wanted to I stand in front of my bookshelves like an actual booktuber, you see some of my bookshelves, um, and I wanted to talk about the bookish resolutions that I set for 2021. Now, the thing about it is that at the beginning of the year, uh, there was some like drama and stuff, and I did not film for a long time, but I didn't film my video where I talked about my bookish resolutions for 2021 at all. I wrote them down, but I didn't actually film the video. So, what I wanted to do is sort of present them and also update them because even though I didn't have a video for them, I still thought about them and was you know, working on them and whatever. Okay, so uh, as I'm filming this uh, July 23rd, um, it, everything is current now. Like as soon as like I sit down and read some more, like it could be a whole lot different. It, you know. <laughs> Who knows? So first one, the first bookish resolution that I set was to read at least 100 books. Now when I say books, I don't just mean like 300 page novels, like I'm talking about anything with an ISBN. So yeah, I might read something short, like a children's book or a middle grade or a graphic novel, and then also in, in consuming high fantasy that could be hundreds of pages long. So 100 books, things, okay? Um, so I I'm proud to say that as far as that bookish resolution goes, I am on track. Right now, as I stand here, I am at 67 books which puts me 12 books ahead of schedule for that goal. Um, and I think I'm actually on track to get to like 114 or so if I keep up the momentum that I've got right now. Um, we'll see. I get slumpy. For those of you who don't know, I am a high school English teacher. So let me tell you, when school starts, I start getting school brain where I'm thinking about things I need to do in my classroom, uh, beginning of the year prep, and then I start grading things. And sometimes because of the nature of the work that I do, I get read out in the sense that my eyes are tired. And so I just sort of, I can listen to audiobooks or I can just like veg out in front of, uh, you know, Netflix or something. Anyway, so I'm on track, so yay. Uh, starting off on a, on a good start. Okay, um, the next bookish resolution was to finish setting up my rainbow shelves. That's the, these shelves here behind me. Um, they're not really set up all the way. I mean, you can see some of the white and some of those warm tones underneath it. Uh, the blue and the green is not really done. I, I pretty much stopped after like purple and sort of a dark blue and then I kind of just I just stuck them all back on my shelf. In fact, I'm thinking of dismantling the rainbow and reorganizing it because I feel like I can't always remember what the spine of a book looks like. And so I'm th actually thinking of doing sort of a alphabetical genre based maybe physical, the physicality of the books, like paperbacks in one area and hardbacks in another. I don't know. But so, boo. <laughs> that resolution isn't happening. I'm not making good progress. In fact, I'm going to backtrack and probably reorganize these shelves because I do not like the way that they are right now. Okay, third resolution I want to talk about um, I'm is to read all of the book club books. And you're like, what book club are you talking about? Well, I'm part of a book club with a handful of other like people that we actually meet once a month. We sit in restaurants and have drinks and talk about whatever book. We sort of have like sort of this democratic way of choosing the book for each month. And honestly, if you don't read the book, no one really cares. Just sip your margarita, you know. Um, but I have 
been disappointed in myself, especially in 2020. I didn't feel like I was reading enough of the books, even though there's not like a penalty for it or anything. So I set myself the the goal of reading all of the book club books for my the, the in real life book club. Um, and I am on track. I have read all of them except for the January book. And I here's here's what's going on with the January book. The January book was Jane and the 12 Days of Christmas um, by Stephanie Barra, Barron. Yes, Barron. Yes. And it was um, Christmassy in, in January. I just wasn't, I started it. I, I didn't get very far and I just wasn't feeling it. And so I'm going to pick it up in November because it'll come back in season. So I've read all but that one. Um, so some of the ones, in case you're like wondering what some of the books have been, we've had, we've read, um, Get a Life, Chloe Brown. We've read, uh, The Dating Plan. Oh, Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. It's real popular right now. Um, and then The Dating Plan by Sarah Desai. And, uh, one was, uh, shoot... Uh, the author's Dave Rudin. I don't know. It's like fantasy. Uh, we read, you know, the first of that trilogy. Um, what else? I don't know. But yeah, those are the those are ones I can think of off the top of my head. But anyway, the only one I have in is that one, and I, I promise I'll get to it. I've read all the others, so I'm going to consider that on track. Yay! So the fourth. Um, Res bookish resolution is short and sweet, but yet I'm not, it, it hasn't happened, so boo, um, is to read Jane Eyre. Yeah, somehow I have gone through high school, I've gone through my bachelor's degree in English, I've gone through my master's degree in English, I've gone through all these years of teaching, and I've never read Jane Eyre. I want to say that I've read pieces of it, excerpts of it, but I haven't sat down and just read the novel itself. I know what happens in it. I've seen various movies of it, but I just haven't read it. And so that was on my list to do this year. I haven't read it yet. So boo, but I could get this, I could still get this one done. I could get it done. I could start it soon. I have a really pretty copy that I could show you guys. It's got sprayed edges. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get to that one. Uh, number five, my bookish resolutions for 2021, um, is to read 25 nonfiction slash memoir books. So nonfiction of whatever type could be memoirs, could just be, you know, nonfiction that just covers a topic or whatever. So I've always tried to make a go, like what I did is I looked at what I had done in 2020 and I made it a number divisible by five. So I didn't read that many nonfiction or memoirs last year. And so that's what kind of shaped my goal. Um, as of right now, I have read 13 that fall within that category at this time. And so I'm going to say that I'm on track to get those 25. Okay. So yay, I'm on track on that one. Um, next one is uh, number six. And <laughs> the, again, this one is to read three Brandon Sanderson books. As of right now, as I stand here, I've read one. <laughs> the first, I've read the first of the Mistborn. Um, and, but I have all the Mistborn well, the main trilogy of Mistborn, and then I have, like, Skyward and Starsight, I think. Um, and so, yeah. Um, but I wanted to read three of them. It's like I'm collecting them, and I haven't actually read them. So, yeah, I've read one out of three that I want to read this year. So I'm going to say that I'm on track, because when I do sit down to read them, the pages just, they, they just fly. And I really think that if I pick up... Um, you know, uh, pick up one and just kind of like, especially when we get in these fall afternoons or like rainy, you know, and cool, like cozy up with some warm coffee and a fuzzy blanket and just knock it out one weekend, right? So I'm going to say that I'm on track. I've done one out of three. I'd be, I'd feel better if I had read two, honestly, but okay, it's fine. It's fine. And then, um, number seven, number seven on my bookish resolutions is to read at least 30 books 
by non-white authors. I um, have been sort of focusing on diversity on my reading list, and I basically looked at what I had done for 2020, same thing with the nonfiction, and said, okay, I'm going to make this a number divisible by five. <laughs> Right? Like, not surprising. Um, and so, as of right now, I've read 22 from non-white authors. And that is counting them once. There's several, of the, uh, several authors in there where I've read multiple books by the same author, and I'm not counting them more than once. So, 22 individual non-white authors. That includes um, people from indigenous cultures, uh, people who are Asian, people who are, um, you know, African-American, um, just people of color, okay, non-white people, okay. Um, and so I'm going to say I'm on track. If I'm at 22 right now, I'm on track to do that because several of the books that are on my TBR stacks um, are from authors that fall within that category. And then the, I had one other resolution but it's it's a it's a big boo it was to film more videos this this year i can redeem myself if i keep filming videos but uh between january and now no <laughs> no 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 i was wanting to film at least you know three in a month and i ha i have not i have not so there's that okay so a couple of other stats that I wanted to look at. Um, for 2020 total pages, I had read 37,000 pages. Um, right now, as I stand here, I'm at 20,000 pages. So I'm on track to meet that or surpass it. I, I could probably get to about 40,000 pretty easily. Um, and as I said, I'm at 67 books read this year. Last year, I read 118 books. And we have 161 days left of this year in order to read all these things. So, um, so that's it as far as my 2021 resolutions. Um, I feel pretty good because more of them I've made some progress at least. Or I, and, and going through this was productive for me in the sense that now I'm aware of what I need to focus on now. I can, I can say, hey, look, this is on my list, and all I have to do is read these books, and I'll get that done. Make these videos, I'll get that done. So how are you doing on your bookish resolutions for 2021? You hanging in there? You accomplishing them? Um, yeah, I feel like 2021 for me is about sort of recalibrating because 2020 was such a crap show. For me, it was. For a lot of people, I don't know. I can't speak for it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please give me a like if you like this. Uh, consider subscribing if you're not subscribed. Um, and let's talk in the comments. I'll see you guys later. Bye.